isn't it? Because cause, yeah, cause there is I, I, a lot of people who I, look at this and they think this is going to break international law. And actually, rather than just saying it's not going to, it, the government's got to show it's worth well, it. Well, I'll it? go further than saying it's not going to. When people see the legislation tomorrow and the government's legal position, they will see that this is working within the law. So what's the James E.D. asked whether it would break international law? The government lawyers are very clear. This We are working within the law. The Attorney General will be setting out the government's legal position on that tomorrow. But Johnson's government outright refuses to disclose any advice it's received to that effect. Effect, and it's not a view shared by Ireland's foreign minister. He's warned that any move by London to walk away from the arrangements it's agreed would send headlines around the world that the United Kingdom is deliberately breaking international law. And this is what the president of Sinn Féin had to say. The notion that in the mother of all parliaments, as it boasts, that there would be an attempt to legislate to break international law is shocking. It's breathtaking. Conservative MP and longtime ally of Boris Johnson, Jesse Norman, highlighted the likely illegality of the policy in his recent excoriation of Johnson's political agenda. In a letter to the Prime Minister dated June 6, he wrote this. Breach of the Northern Irish Protocol would be economically very damaging, politically foolhardy and almost certainly illegal. And remember, Johnson's government has form on this. Um, the Internal Market Bill breaks international law. That's the discussion that's carrying no, on at the, at the moment. You're shaking no, your head. No, it doesn't. No, it, it, it doesn't. I would say to my um, honourable friend that yes, this does break international law in a very specific and limited way. And it's worth remembering how we got here. Uh, this document order... is talking about checks both ways. And that's wrong, so... because there won't be checks. It was a barefaced lie. Johnson's government won a general election by lying about a deal which was based on lies. They've lied about it ever since and now want to scrap part of the deal they lied about by lying all over again, including breaking international law, which they now also appear to be lying about. Johnson negotiated this protocol, signed and ratified it, won a general election on it and now says it's not fit for purpose. We literally can't believe a word he says.